Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video tutorial. This is going to be a review of uh, Stellar Phoenix photo recovery software. And this is available for the Windows or the Mac. And if you want to download free trial versions, you can get it here at recovermyphotos.net. Uh, you can download it here for Windows or Mac, and it gives you um, more details of the software and how it works and what it recovers. <clears throat> if you want to visit this page and check it out. Now I did put that link under this video in the about section so if you click on it it'll take you straight to that page. So when you download and install Stellar Phoenix Photo Recovery this is what you're going to get when you load the software and most of the time all, the only thing you're going to be using is this big blue button where you're going to recover your photos. Uh, it also recovers audio and video files and it, it recovers them from any kind of a memory card like an SD card, even a flash drive, external hard drives, other devices connected to your computer as well as your computer itself. So the thing you want to do is just click on the big blue button. <clears throat> it's going to automatically detect any drives that you have connected to your computer and it's going to ask you if that's the drive that you want to scan. If so you just click start scan. If not you can click view complete drive list and it's going to show you all the drives attached to your computer. Uh, if you just now after starting the software um, put your memory card or whatever it is in your computer you want to come down here and click the refresh drive button and what that's going to do is it's going to load um, whatever memory device uh, that you just inserted um, in your computer and it's going to show you what that is and it's going to ask you if you want to start a scan on it so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to select the drive that I want to scan for photos on and then you can get down here to advanced scan if you want and select just the specific types of um, uh, files that you want to recover and usually I don't mess with doing none of this I just leave it the way it is so it can show me everything that I have available to recover but you know it's up to you whether you use that option or not and then you're going to click scan now and depending on the size of your um, drive it's it's going to take more or less times to um, to complete the scan but what I'm going to do I'm just going to let it run here for a few seconds and stop it and show you how it all works We'll let it get to 1% here, which hopefully doesn't take very long, but I got a lot of files on this uh, flash drive. All right, we'll go ahead and just stop it here. Yes, I want to abort. And now you can see over here how it organizes all the files into different types of folders based on the extension of that file. So you got your JPEG images, your, your ping, GIFs, and uh, even PSD files for Photoshop and then it also organizes videos if you have those and what's great about this software is if you visit um, this recovermyphotos.net and download this trial version it will actually allow you to scan any device you have and show you these files that it can recover that way you know you can recover these files before you invest in the software uh, to purchase it so I, I highly recommend before you buy it that you download the free trial uh, that way you can see if it can recover those files that you're needing to get back and you can view these files simply by going up and selecting um, these folders and then going down here and clicking on the images and then it'll show you the images in their original size uh, right here now you can view these in different ways you'll see how there's three different buttons up here uh, the thumbnail view is going to show you the images blown up and then this one will show you just a list where you click on each individual item and it shows or you can do this one here which is kinda like a um, like a rotating 3D type thing um, and now all these images that you see here in the white these are most likely file types that may not be recoverable um, but the ones that you are seeing, if the image does shows, um, or if it does show, then you can recover that type of a file. And then all, all you would have to do is just check mark the boxes of the files you want to recover, um, hit the recover button, <clears throat> and that's going to recover those files back. So a great tool to use if you're looking to recover any type of um, um, photos or audio or video files. I do highly recommend it if you want to check it out and download the free trial. Like I said, the link is under this video in the About page or in the About section. Um, it's recovermyphotos.net.